operations in the NHL. And uh, Cole, and I know it's important to stress at this point, this is a recommendation that's moved forward. We've uh, seen how the recommendation is written up. It is not a rule yet. It'll now go on to the competition committee, which is made up of players, uh, managers, and the ownership group as well. So what kind of timeline are we looking at if it does become a rule? Well, the, the most important thing is to educate the players, and uh, we'll do that work in the summer. But uh, first and foremost, uh, we have to meet with the competition committee and then get this uh, uh, ratified by the Board of Governors, uh, uh, the recommendations that the general manager's making. We'll fine-tune it before we get there. We have another manager's meeting in, during the finals, uh, wherever that takes place. And uh, then we'll do our work in the summer. We'll educate both the referees and how this should be called on the ice if there's going to be a two-minute or five-minute penalty for a contact with the head, with the shoulder from that certain angle. And then, uh, obviously, the, the most important aspect of this is to educate the players who, who deliver the hit and players who receive hits. Well, you know, you talk about, we've talked about the process a lot this week, going through the small groups and presenting it to the managers. But now you talk about behavior modification a little bit, educating the players. We got an outcome here. How do you feel about getting to this outcome moving forward? Because there's been a big evolution in the game, as you pointed out. Well, uh, it, it, it'll be good for the game if we can reduce concussions because, you know, it's not headshots. Yeah. We we've taken care. We take care of headshots. In my mind, a headshot is is an illegal shot out of the head by an elbow or a stick. A blow to the head is a, a legal shoulder, which we consider all shoulders legal now. Uh, uh, that it's legal and, and it, but it causes injury so we hope to, 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 to reduce those therefore reducing concussions therefore reducing injuries in the game and that's our sole purpose of this of this exercise so hopefully that's that's what we've accomplished here in, 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 in addressing this, this this time without which was the main focus without taking away the physicality or the hitting in the game of hockey um, one thing that seemed to be very common over the first few days is everyone mentioning David Booth, the David Booth hit. And again, this is not a rule, but if it were to become a rule, you look back at that hit, the Mike Richards hit on David Booth. Do you look at it differently, or will you be looking at it differently as a disciplinarian for the NHL? Well, this isn't going to change my job. There's still going to be, it might make it harder, there's still going to be some tough decisions. Uh, we can sit in the room and we can fast forward and, and go backwards and slow motion these things but these things happen so fast on the ice and there's going to be some tough decisions yet to make and there will always be tough decisions for me or who's ever doing this job and uh, I just hope that David Booth might think a little bit more about where he is with the puck and more importantly what we've done here is that we've shifted the We've shifted somewhat the responsibility to the player doing the hitting that uh, um, Richards will now think second, maybe I'm not going to deliver a hit from this, this angle because I might get suspended for doing that. How significant is that, Cole, and when you talk about shifting the responsibility somewhat to the player delivering the hit? I, I think it's uh, very significant, uh, um, Craig, because I think the fact that uh, uh, players now and I, I if I've heard it once I've probably heard it over a hundred times in my five or six or seven hundred discipline hearings that coaches teach now or preach now the player will say my, if I don't follow through with my hit I'm gonna get in trouble and uh, if you look at the Canada Russia game in the Olympics uh, a guy like Nash was following through with his hits and we all loved it in Canada and that's the game of hockey to hit, to send a message, to maybe make them a little bit nervous next time they have that puck. And it wasn't Nash's intent or any player's intent to hurt that player, but now you have to be a little bit careful when you're delivering that hit, how you deliver it. And you've got to be a little more conscious of where your shoulder hits and make sure your shoulder doesn't hit the head illegally. So still north-south, you know, we haven't, we haven't done anything to the north-south hits it's those side hits where we're, we're, we're receiving a lot of concussions to the, the sides of heads, and that's what our concussion report delivered. Well, Coley, thanks for your time today and over the last three days as well. I know it's been a busy time, but uh, we thank you for taking some time. Thanks for, for having me on.